It should have been us. Oh. Should have been the fire. Should have been the perfect oh. storm. It should have been us. Oh. Could have been the real thing. No one ever knew oh. for sure. Oh, we were crazy, hey. but amazing. Hey. Maybe we both knew. Should have been us. It should have been. It 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 should have been us. Hi guys, I'm my name is Timothy Alex. I'm Katie Marie. I'm Turner. I'm Kirsten, and we are loud. Well, I know for me it was it was just such an honor because she's you know she's been in a group before and she's had so much success and she's such a great songwriter. So I was just like, wow, I'm gonna be, you know, she's gonna work with us. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was just really really excited. Yeah, I think we were all really excited. Yeah, because oh, yeah. she has such she's just so amazing. Yeah. All the things that she's <laughs> done and accomplished, like that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And we were just so excited to be able to say we we're working with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely. Um, you too. Um, well, I, I'm pretty much what they say. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. She's just such a big person in the music industry, so it's like kind of having one of your stars say, I'm going to work with you. Yeah. Um, well, definitely, you know, you know, with our emotion and, you know, anytime we're performing, you know, we, we're all high energy, so it's like, you know, the acting, it's, it's acting, but it's not because we're always having fun. So. Yeah. I'd say it plays a role in it when you might not be having a bad, like have a bad day and yeah. you still have to perform. Mm -hmm. But since we all just enjoy it, mm -hmm. it's a lot of it is just natural. And it really helps you convey emotion to you in the song. Like if we're singing a song that's not, <laughs> no, but like if we're singing a song that's not, you know, like fun and exciting, you know, you know, you have to know how to convey emotion of the song. And so I think acting class really helped help yeah. us out with that. Yeah. Well, we're doing urban pop music. We are very, we're very entertaining, very hype, I would say. And the type of music we are. We're doing our, uh, yeah. we just released our show up yeah. actually on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called oh, okay. Show Off, yes. With a high energy song, high energy song. Yeah, yeah and uh, that's, we started all just on our shows off with that no matter what, because it just, um, we personally, that's one of my favorite songs, definitely, yeah, just because yeah. it's just so fun to do, and it's, you know, we're dancing like crazy, and people are just like, wow, let's watch us dance, so. <laughs> we have a lot of unreleased music that uh -huh. should be coming yeah. out soon. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think a big factor of us being different is that we do positive stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we just, we want to be that light, or that, because it's so mm -hmm. dark in this industry now, that we want to make music that people can listen to that's positive. Yeah, no matter what. And also we all do different things like yeah, I know I, yeah. do, I write, I produce, and yeah, so does Gary. We all do yeah. you know, makeup, acting, yeah, do pretty much everything. <laughs> <Yeah, every place. laughs> <laughs> we do it all, so. Yeah. Bottom yeah. line, anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So you don't feel as though you're going to be pressured in any way to kind of confine to what's going on, you know, in in music yeah. in general, you know, like yeah. radio hits and things like that. Yeah. Of course, you're gonna be, most of them talk about either twerking or, yeah. you know, yeah. just that type of, <laughs> like that. right, that type of stuff. So yeah. how do you think you're gonna be able to kind of yeah. go against that grain, but still get the public to hear your music? Well, that's one thing that Candy is just, that's she told us, she was like, guys, I really want, I love your message and what you're doing. And she said, that's that's one of the reasons she really wanted to work with us. And, you know, she's so supportive of that, too. Like, she, she knows that the industry is, there's a lot of bad stuff in it, you know, but she really wants us, she's really doing everything she can to help us spread our message and to shine, so. Uh, I guess I'll, I can start with me. Um, I listen to a lot of uh, pop music and even some R&B. Um, my favorite, I know my favorite artist right now is Justin Bieber, like his whole new album, I love his whole new album. Oh, yeah. And then Usher is like oh. such an idol for me too. We got to see him in concert, that was insane. Usher's wow. amazing. <laughs> so um, Justin Bieber, Usher, um, I listened to like um, One Direction, Ed Sheeran, and it, I even listened to like Chris Brown and some August Alsina, so, yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really into like soulish, acoustic stuff, ballads, stuff like that because I really like singing and I like hearing other people sing. <laughs> so um, I love Adele. I love Sam Smith. Um, there's others. <laughs> she's, there like, she's like, I can't think of that. Uh, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> you can go. <laughs> um, I've always kind of listened to everything. You know, I, I've always said I'll go like from 
you know, I'll go from like Luther Vandross to Miles Davis to Bryson Taylor. Like, I'll just listen to, I listen to anything. So um, I'm kind of, you know, the all around, like I'll always mention a song and then they'll be like, I've never heard that person. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I listen to everything, so. Yeah, I listen to rap and I listen to, I listen to a lot of different music. I listen to Tamar Braxton, I listen to Nicki Minaj. I listen to Tori Kelly, um, Sam Smith. Oh, I listen to Tori a lot of <laughs> amazing artists. I personally feel like I'm, my music style is all like bipolar. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if you, anybody was gonna mention rap. I was like, yeah. they don't listen to rap. I mean, I mean rap like, you, you always catch a rap song. Yeah. Like, you know a rap song. Right. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, this all I listen to. Right, yeah. yeah. Some people are hardcore. <laughs> yeah, hardcore rap. Right. Such as myself. Like, I prefer that over, over R&B yeah. or, you know, soul music. There's, there's some rappers that I like, <laughs> like, I like them more than some artists. Like, like some rappers, like, um, I know one of my favorites, Childish Gambino. I love Childish Gambino. Mm -hmm. And Chance, the rapper. Oh, I'm, he's, I'm the he's biggest Chance fan. And then Logic's when you get to, I love Logic. And, uh, yeah, Logic's amazing. Yeah, okay. I like, like underground rappers. So, like, right. you know, like there's big rappers that are really good, but like I like a lot of underground rappers too, just because like lyricist. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. We always like think about this, oh. I and mean, it always changes. Like you want to work with so many people. Time. I think Tori Kelly. Tori Kelly, we all mm -hmm. can agree on that. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely what we can all agree on. <laughs> she's just, a, yeah, she's just. She amazing. is so amazing. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think who else. We had like we had like a list. Yeah. We had a list of like yeah. list that out. Like we had like options. Because there's so many talented people. There really, right. there really, there really is. Oh. It, it really depends on the song. Because yeah, I mean, oh, that's true. Yeah. We all have a we have a long different list of different kind of songs. So it kind of yeah. depends on who's right for which song. Right. Yeah. yeah. We even had talks with Candy about that just because you know she was in a group and she was just like, listen guys, the main thing is is you're supporting each other, you know, and you have to be a team. And so, um, you know, and she's always talks about, it's not, it's really not about individuals, it's about, you know, the team and the group, what's best for the group. And so, um, yeah, there's just, there's times, you know, when, when you think your idea may be better than somebody else's, but that's when you put everything aside and realize this is for the, you know, this is for the betterment of the group. And so, um, I think that's a, that's a big, yeah. once you once you have that, I feel like that's, it's a lot easier to, to maintain the group. Yeah. yeah, and I think we're just gonna make sure we maintain that strong sense of family that we have and even though we are already completely different people but I, it definitely makes us stronger as a family and as a group so i think that's special and also yeah. we we're looking at what's happening now we're not really we're, we're not planning to split up now we're actually planning to stay together and we don't we're not we can't speak for the future because we don't know what it's gonna, we never know what's going to happen we just know that right now we're staying together we're sticking together as a family I, I would just say that if it's really what you want to do with your whole life, don't don't give up no matter how hard it gets because it will get hard and you got it you got to keep going if you want to do that with your life because it will pay off in the end. Yeah. Don't forget where you came from. Oh, that's yeah. a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Um, mine would probably be stay focused because there's going to be a lot of dis different distractions and you know friends and. A lot of different people in the industry, but you know, you you have to stay focused on your main goal and not stray from it. And if you do that, you'll, you'll be fine. So. I think mine would be um, your work ethic is like is oh, okay. that that's your main that that should be your main um, priority because you know there's a lot of people that are insanely talented, but if you don't have really the work ethic, you know, your talent's not going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? So work ethic, that to me, that's that's been my like my goal is just to keep my work ethic up. You know, we all have. Um, that's, that's, we pride ourselves in having good work ethic. So, um, I think just for an up and coming artist, yeah, just make, make that work ethic like through the roof. So, yeah. that's <laughs> right. What's up, guys? We're loud, and when you are watching Stacks Magazine.